So this guy is 100%, yeah, 100% contesting me. Okay, maybe I just go ruins. It's kind of hot here. Oh, no. I just unplugged my monitor. Okay, that was a scuff landing. Just always keep focus and make sure that you're paying attention to how much white health you have, how much DPS the storm is doing, and uh, and how long it's going to take for you to get your next white health off. So here I'm aware it's only ticking one right now. So I have some small fries in case I mess up that I can quickly eat, but even those take a couple seconds. So I know I need to get this med cut off around 11 or 12 seconds. If you have high ping, you probably want to get it off earlier than that. So I'm going to pop it around 15 seconds. Fi wasting 5 seconds is not that big of a deal. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm healthy at this point because uh, we're probably going to sadly have to go into zone. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to loot up the extra med kit, so that's that's the that's the issue here that's that's what can go wrong so if your if your landing is kind of scuffed uh, and you don't loot enough med kits then you're only really going to be able to use the med kit method uh, up until the uh, the second zone is closing in and then you may have to resort to uh, other strategies or, or or luck continue looting in the zone and uh, try to find more more healing items like this so see these bandages uh, they may not seem like that much but in one tick zone they're actually uh, very good so I know that I'm gonna be 175 HP when I come out of this zone uh, so there's really no reason for me to go into the zone right now I'll make a bigger target on myself so once I hit 60 health uh, I'm just gonna uh, uh, hit this I could even probably hit it a little bit sooner so if I hit it around uh, 63 health uh, that by that way by the time the bandage is done I'm at 60 and it heals me to 75 so I, I know I have three more bandages uh, so this is essentially just free free time at this point where I know I'm not going to get engaged. So the main answer I give to people who always ask me um, or or that I see people in comment section or, or a lot of people ask the question, how do you avoid getting W keyed? And the answer is, is simply don't put yourself into a position where you can simply get W keyed. So no one's going to be coming into the storm at this point. I'm I'm on short side. So the zone pulling in is going to be slow. So even at this point, as it started to pull in, I'm still in absolutely no rush to, to get to get into zone because uh, I still have a bit of white health that can bring me back up to 175, uh, which isn't bad. Um, I should probably drop this and, and even farm these mushrooms. But at this point, since it's going to start ticking for two, once this closes and I don't have access to more white health, I'm actually probably going to uh, start, start going in at this point. I am 555, five, five. I just thought I saw a person there, but I am okay. Uh, there, There is a, uh, a a campfire just over there, but I'm not even going to need it. There, we're a lot faster than zone, so we've caught up really quick. Uh, I see a harpoon here uh, that I'm going to take advantage of very quickly. It has eight charges left, so I'm just going to quickly fish for some, some things that may heal me up. So here, here's a lot more time in the zone. I'm actually going to hit the small fry and keep carrying the harpoon, and that way I can keep the slurp fish. So I'm not as healthy as I would have been had I ate the small fry, but this way I have a slurp fish for end game, and, and I should be able to find another mecha to heal my white health so that I'll have a slurp fish uh, for, those, for those clutch moments later. So there's the med kit that I needed to find. Um, exactly as I thought it would be so uh, now I have an issue of having too much loot so at this point um, I'm probably should just have dropped the harpoon but now I know it's gonna tick for two so now I have another med kit I'm gonna go back to the med kit method I'm gonna leave the harpoon there I have one slurpfish that's fine I'm gonna go back to the med kit method make sure that your, your mats are full so now I'm just still sitting edge zone so I probably should have kept that that harpoon so there's a guy there I don't need to take shots at this guy you may think that it'd be easy to take shots at this guy, but you don't need to take shots at this guy because then you're in zone. So I know it's going to be ticking for two once this closes, so I need to pop it around 24 health. And that and that way that I'll, I'll be healthy enough in, in order to get out. So at around 27, screw it. Uh, you might as well. It's a lot better safe than sorry. Um, uh, it is nice when you can pop it at one health and you... You use all of the resources available to you, uh, but that's okay. So I, I don't even mind using this slurpfish in zone uh, to heal my health. Uh, I know that there's a guy right in there, so uh, he's probably right about there. Don't he? That, he actually ended up going this way, so that's okay. Uh, what we're gonna actually want to do is get a little bit uh, aggressive. 
Uh, so we're actually going to want to get away from this guy as fast as we can. Um, and we know bounce pads are the only movement right now, so he'll probably want to play that passively. We see another guy just rotating up there by the desert, uh, but that's okay. So now I know I need to refarm um, a couple of uh, mats, but uh, I'll get those along the way. It's just a bit of brick and some steel. I bet there's leftover at White House, but White House is kind of sketch in solos. I don't really want to go there at this point because uh, people are probably waiting in there for, for zone to come in. But here, I got visual indicator on, so I'm going to see the footstep symbol if anyone's in here. So yeah, I saw the footstep symbol, and at that, I'm getting out of there. So if this guy is a keyer, we're still going to see the footstep symbol. So yeah, he is keying us at this point, because the footstep symbol is still in behind us. So he's looking for these elims. I'm going to make sure that the chase that he has to spend, the amount of resources he has to spend chasing me, is not worth the amount of resources that he's going to get from eliminating me so that's the most essential thing here you need to make the opponent make that mathematical decision in their head now if they're a good player they're gonna say okay i need to spend this many resources i need to spend this much ammo i need to i need to worst my position by this much in order to to get this even to chase this guy is it worth that one point or is it not so what you want to do is get yourself out of position when you're getting chased like this so i'm getting chased i immediately started spending my mats getting out of position so he saw that i was a skilled player he, he knew that i knew what was going on and and I've, I've rotated here so once again you see i'm on short side allowing us to be on short side for zone allows the zone to come in slower so i position myself well here again i want to chill before this before it reaches over this hill and I'm gonna play edge. So this is what I mean by playing edge. So we're playing edge of the zone right now. We're looking for those footsteps indicators because there's 18 people left and placement is coming in soon. So I do need actually a fair amount of wood to refarm at this point. It's 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 gonna be a very, very hard to refarm past this zone closing, depending on the situation of how hot it is now. So I, I see some footsteps and a car. So once again I'm I'm gonna rotate so I, I'm not I'm gonna make myself not worth it. I'm switching back to wood, but now I'm switching back to brick I'm gambling on this not having anyone in it and it succeeded So now I'm gonna have free knowledge on next zone, but there's someone coming so I'm gonna build Okay, so I see I see footsteps right there. I'm getting to zone immediately That's what you guys need to be doing So there's there's probably a guy in that truck or a guy in that building, but that doesn't matter It doesn't matter that he's healing what you need to be doing is you need to be playing zone so I'm that may not those shots may not have been in me, but it doesn't even matter So so you need to be worried about that kid in that box I don't even know if anyone was there, but it doesn't matter You just don't want to be near player activity whatsoever So I just jumped there you see that guy on top of the hill You see that guy boxing up in metal at this point they were closer to zone than us So even though we went early the zone is already hot So that's the issue with rotating late or rotating with zone in late game rotate with zone or after zone for the first few zones, but once it's late game, once you feel that lobby starting to stack up, that's when you're gonna wanna start rotating the second you see where zone is. So now at this point, now that I'm in zone and I'm chill, I'm looking at zone. So now I'm saying, okay, where is zone going to go? I position myself on edge zone. I believe that that is the safest position, especially with storm four as half and half is coming up soon. Okay, we have footsteps on us, so I'm getting into a little bit more of an aggressive position. In case he is intending to box fight. This kid might be free, or he might be a WQ. You are not certain at this point. Now, I'm built in full metal, so I can't see. But if I did want to see the kid, it's just as simple as that. So now I have full view. I'm not sure if he's actually the one who boxed up in that metal. Probably not because it wouldn't be fully built yet. So we pulled zone. Let's go. So this is exactly the situation that we want. So now that you have pulled half and half because you situated yourself on edge zone at the fourth zone, you now have a little bit of a job to do. What you're going to want to do is expand your one by one so that you have possess more area you have more angles you can see more kids and also you have more places to go in case kids start pushing up on you so at this point now i'm trying to look for tags i'm trying to look for those kids that are one hp and i'm trying to look for those easy little dinks now you don't want to be exposing yourself too much and make sure you're only exposing yourself from from at least only two walls at a time if you're doing three you're going to get focused if you're doing one if the lobby is really stacked you're going to get focused so be very careful with the walls that you do selectively intend to open up in case you see kids so i'm paying attention to these visual indicators we have placement coming in 
Now, remember that huge placement here is after top five. So once we get top five, that's when the good points start rolling in. So that's what we're aiming for here. And then we may start get a little more aggressive after top three, but uh, we'll see how everything going. I'm contemplating almost just eating this slurp fish because going into end game, even though it's a waste of 10 health here, it may be worth just eating it so that I don't have to spend the extra frames and animation time in order to eat the slurp fish. I'm just playing it chill though because I know there's more placement at top 10 as well. So that's what I'm waiting for at this point. Remember, the key to playing passive is mainly playing passive. You can see that I'm spending my, my metal early because this is keeping me fully concealed. People aren't willing to push a, a metal box more likely than a brick or a wood box in this, in this mid to early late game. So you can hear a kid sand tunneling. Sand tunneling is re-enabled. I'm going to try to take a peek on that and see where the sand might be. So it might have been that guy rotating. Maybe not. It might have been someone else coming in. So here we go. So this is probably a zone we're just going to want to use our bouncer. So there's 11 kids. I want to stay safe. I'm just going to bounce pad this zone, especially on high ping. So I'm going to switch to wood. I'm getting my wood ready. So there's some footsteps. I was going to go right then, but I, I don't want to go right now because there's some footsteps. But now I'm okay. I'm gonna block this off, make a big wide edit. I meant to break that actually, and go like this. Now look at this. Now I'm gonna get front side, okay? So what front side means is that there's no one else around you. Most typically, you don't have to full tarp. You can get a little bit free and then box up again. So this is how you're gonna conserve your mats because remember, you're playing passive, so you're not really going for those elims. Sand tunneling is re-enabled, so I'm going to hit the little cheeky peak here and hit my ball. I'm going to now really conserve mats. So someone did see me probably in the sand ball, but there's another one there. There's another one there. So a lot of people are sand tunneling this zone, so we're going to have to be aware of this. He might think that I'm shambles. He's trying to box me in perhaps. No, he may not even see me there. Okay, so I've popped out at this point. Now you're going to want a full tarp, full tarp. Full tarp, full tarp. I need to get this slurp fish off. Kid, right behind me. Now I'm just going to spam mats. I'm just going to spam mats. That's what you need to do here. Just keep spamming mats. Good placement, good placement, good placement. I accidentally used an extra bounce pad uh, last time, sadly. Uh, so I wish I had another bounce pad right now, which is exactly when I would need it. Uh, but sadly, I don't have that opportunity here to use a bounce pad because I believe I accidentally spammed, placed an extra one. I'm looking for a cheeky pick there, but no, there's nothing that's worth it. I, I just got beam, so I have some minis. I'm going to use them. I am in zone here. I'm going to get focused hard by this kid. He really, really wants to see them. I'm top four, though. I've got that good, good, good placement. I'm looking for top three this game, at least. All my weapons are reloaded. I almost had that kid if I had to hit my first tack. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. 